Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I am filming a reveal video for you. Um, it was going to be an unboxing. However, I tried to unbox this like a million times and every single time something went wrong with the video. So I finally just gave up trying to unbox it for you and instead I'm doing a reveal. Um, which is good enough, I think, because everybody knows what the packaging for Louis Vuitton looks like. I mean, if you don't know what the packaging looks like by now, then you need to come out from whatever rock you've been under. So, um, okay, so short, very short story first. As you know, I just did an unboxing on my channel for the Graceful PM. I will post that video down below. And... As soon as I did the unboxing for you, I put my stuff in the bag to use it. Well, I got to work and under the bright fluorescent lights, I noticed that there was something very wrong with the glazing on the strap. So um, when I started looking at it, I noticed that the glazing was cracked from end to end on both sides of the strap. I don't know if they used a different glazing on it or what, but it was completely cracked. It had a crack down the center of it. And you could literally put your fingernail underneath it and like chip it away. So it looked like cracked paint on a house, like bubbled up paint on a house. And I don't know how I missed that in the store. I think I was just so excited over the fact that I had found a made in France piece that I just sort of, um, I don't know. I don't think I inspected the bag as closely as I normally do. So of course I was devastated because like I said, it was made in France. It's very hard to find canvas pieces that are made in France anymore. And I was also upset over the fact that um, I was now going to have to drive back to Houston to exchange the bag. So I contacted my sales associate, sent him pictures. He said, yeah, that's not cool. So um, I did go back to Houston and I exchanged the bag. So... Uh, I knew that since this was a made in France bag, I didn't want to go with the same bag if I couldn't find another made in France because I'd already kind of gotten spoiled. So I decided to try to get a bag that I have been trying to add to my collection literally since like the beginning. Like it was the bag that started my Louis Vuitton obsession and which was when I was about mm, 15 years old. So that's a long time ago. Um, but I tried, you know, many times to add this bag to my collection and every single time there was either something wrong with the bag in the store or I even, if you've watched my videos and you've been with me for a while, you will have known that I tried to purchase this bag before. I purchased it online and when it came to me, it was an absolute disaster. And if you want, I'll link that video down below as well. But, um, or I'll post it at the end of this video. That's what I'll do. And then you can just click on it. But, um... So yeah, so I've been trying to add this bag for a long time and I'm very particular about the way I want this particular bag to look. So without further ado, we're already three minutes and 20 seconds into this video, so sorry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. So you're probably already gonna be able to tell by the shape of this dust bag what it is. It looks really flat and squatty. What? Oh my gosh, okay. I decided to get the, I was finally able to get the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the Bandelier version. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to finally have this bag back in my collection. What did I say back for? Like I had it before. Well, I had it briefly. So yeah, back in my collection. Um, but I never got to actually use it and I didn't get to keep the one I had before because it was, it was a train wreck. I ordered it online and it came with the wrong straps. So they sent me this bag, but sent the strap for the Damier Aben with it. And like I said, I'll post that video at the end of this video so you can choose it if you want and you can see exactly what happened. But this bag is absolutely perfect. I am so excited about having this girl in my collection. So I got really lucky and this one is a made in France piece as well. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. I'll try, whoop, almost dropped it. I'll try to get it at an angle where you can kind of semi see. Can't really tell. But see how it has three lines of 
of uh, print there. When it has three lines of print, it's because the bag was made elsewhere other than in the United States. So this one was made in France. So again, I got so lucky because it is really hard to find speedies, especially canvas ones that are made in um, France. Almost all of them are made in the USA. If you live in the USA, it's really hard to get one that's made in France. But if you live in Europe, then your chances of getting a made in France are really high. But you know, I don't live in Europe. I live in Texas, which is like the farthest thing from Europe. Anyway, so um, yeah. She's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It has uh, the creases in it still because obviously I haven't used it yet because I've been waiting to do this un uh, reveal for you. This is the back side. So it has the typical crease in it from where they folded it. The side straps are absolutely perfect. There is uh, no wrinkling or creasing whatsoever on the side straps. They're beautiful. That was a big thing for me. I didn't care if the bag was made in the USA, but I did not want it to have wrinkles on the side strap. And that's just a huge thing for me. For whatever reason, I just don't like that. And then the other side is absolutely perfect as well. I don't know how well you're able to see that, but um, yeah, it's absolutely perfect no creasing whatsoever. The hardware is beautiful. The little chaps are gorgeous. They're in wonderful shape. Um, nothing wrong with them. They're not bent on the tips here. That's another thing you have to watch for whenever you're purchasing these bags is to check out the condition of the chaps because sometimes they'll be curled up on the end here um, or they'll have wrinkles through them or something weird and funky. Um, but these are in gorgeous shape. They're beautiful. Both of them are just, all four of them, amazing shape. The glazing on the handles is perfect. And um, the glazing now is a shiny glazing. Well, for the Vaqueta, uh, it's a shiny glazing. If you get a Damier Aben one, then it's kind of like a dull matte glazing. And I think they do that so that one doesn't crack but yeah and then my handles do not have any wrinkling whatsoever underneath them they're perfect both of them and then i just put the lock right here on the zipper pull for now and um, because i'm not really sure what i want to do with it but i think i want to leave the lock out because on my damier aben speedy um, I have it over there. I should have grabbed it for you, but on my Damier Aben Speedy, I had taken the lock off and put it inside the bag to store it away. And when I pulled it out the next time to use it, uh, the lock had tarnished. And I don't know if it was because I had it put away and maybe it got damp or I don't know what the case was, but it discolored. So I'm just going to leave this one out and leave it on top of the zipper pull. I just think it looks really pretty there. The good thing though is you can replace the locks. You can repurchase them if you need to. So uh, yeah. So when I went and got this one, I brought my old lock from my uh, Damier Aben Speedy. And I was really uh, fortunate because instead of making me buy another one, because I've had that bag for a year now, they just replaced it for me and gave me a new one. So I was really, uh, I was really excited about that. So now my Damier Aben looks perfect as well. And I don't have to worry about um, it having an ugly lock and hiding the lock away like, you know, like some, I don't know. It was just really ruining the look of the bag. Anyway, so um, I absolutely love this one so much. I've been wanting to add this to my collection forever. Uh, this is the bag that started the obsession for me. Of course, back when I was 15, they didn't have the bandelier version. They only had the classic version. So I kind of grew up with top handle bags being uh, what was in style because back then they had like the Liz Claiborne was really in style. Uh, she had like the little triangles all over her bag and they were like raised. They felt like braille. Uh, the little tiny triangle bags they had, uh, that was in style. And then they had the Dooney and Burks were really, really big when I was a teenager. And they of course were top handle bags as well. So I kind of grew up with top handle bags. So top handle bags don't bother me. Um, but I do love the fact that I have the option 
of putting a strap on this because let's be real, top handle bags are a pain in the butt. They really are. I mean, when you're trying to shop or when you're trying to do anything, you can't really do much if you have, you know, your your purse on your arm and you're trying to like look at stuff or shop or anything. You have to set the bag down because it's in the way if you have this on your wrist. But I do love top handle bags. I think they're very feminine and classy and chic looking. Uh, there's just something about a top handle bag. And I've watched so many videos of this bag on YouTube and I just don't understand when I hear YouTubers say, I'm not really a top handle bag girl. Okay, but you bought a top handle bag bag. I mean, so you're buying a top handle bag to use it strictly just as a shoulder bag. I just don't get that. I don't get it. Like, I don't want there to be aspects of my bag that are rendered non-functional because I don't like them or don't use them. Uh, you know, I got the bandolier because in the event that I need to have my hands free, I have that option, but I will more than likely carry this by the top handles because I just love the way this looks. It's so classy and chic. Love it. It's primo. So, okay. So, uh, what else? Okay. So let me show you the bandolier. I have it inside the bag. Oh my gosh, those zippers. Did you hear them? Let me see if I can do it again. They're so buttery smooth. Listen, oh, I could sit there and do that all day. I just love it. Okay, so the bag is stuffed. Let me take this stuffing out for you. They put the straps down inside the bag. Now, this is how they are supposed to come. Let me give you a word of advice. If you are ordering this bag online or any of the speedies whatsoever that have the bandolier, the bandolier strap is supposed to come assembled and inside the bag like this. They may or may not put it in a desk bag. That's strictly up to the person who is packaging your item for you, but it's definitely supposed to be assembled. It's supposed to be in one piece and it's supposed to be rolled up and inside of the bag. So when I got my first one, I ordered it online. It was the most horrible experience ever. And it was supposed to come, I paid for, um, did I pay for it? No, I didn't pay for it. It was free because it was Christmas. I got one day shipping. It didn't come in one day. It came in five days. <laughs> and then not only that, but then when it got to me, the straps were, the strap was disassembled. It was in three pieces and all three pieces were attached to the loop on, to the D-ring on the end of the bag. And then to make matters worse, it wasn't even the Vaquetta strap. It was the treated leather strap that goes with the Dame Aben. So um, definitely make sure you check out that video because it was, it was laughable. Like it was, I was so mad that I had to laugh about it because I, there was just really nothing else you could do at that point. Anyway, so this is the strap. The strap is also in amazing condition. The hardware is beautiful. Um, I'm sure you've, you know, if you're watching this video, you've probably watched, you know, 20 other speedy bandolier videos. And so you already know that the hardware does not match. This is a very shiny polished gold, and this is more of a muted gold. Um, now I don't see how they're just different. This is brighter, this is duller, uh, but that doesn't bother me. I don't really, I don't care. That, that just doesn't bother me. And I don't know if they have gone back to using brass for these uh, or if they're just gold toned because I know they stopped putting brass on uh, a lot of their a lot of their items but I know for a fact that this is not brass and that it is just gold uh, like gold toned gold plated it's not real gold plated it's just gold colored so yeah. Anyway, the strap is perfect. It doesn't have any wrinkles in it anywhere. I love it so much. I'm so excited to use this bag. Like literally, I've had this bag for about two weeks now and it's been killing me because I've been wanting to break it out and use it. And we were having really, really pretty weather and I was able to use it, but I couldn't get the video to, um, one time I couldn't get the video to upload. So I just completely redid it 
And then another time it just, um, oh, let me put this on for you. And then another time the video, I just didn't like it. I wasn't happy with the quality of it. So there's been several reasons why I just decided to do a reveal instead of an unboxing. But anyway, so you have the strap. I'm just going to set it in my lap for now. And then inside the bag, this is a very basic bag. It's, um, it's simple in its, you know, construction. It's one huge compartment and then you have one zipper compartment right here. And the older ones don't have the zipper. I'm sure you already know that. Uh, this is the little pouch that the keys come in and it is specifically for the locks and keys because it has a little divider in the middle. So you put your lock on one side, you put your keys on the other and it prevents them from scratching each other. And then this is just the paperwork for the bag. So you have this little pocket right here. The zippers are so smooth. On this side right here, this is the front side of the bag. You have your D-ring right there. There's a D-ring. And if you were looking for your date code on your Speedy, your date code is located underneath this flap on this little tab right here. So mine was made in the 51st week of 2019. So a week before the year ended. And yeah, and it's a CT code. Yeah, you probably won't be able to see that, but it's CT5119. So that means it's made in the 51st week of 2019. Now, um, for those of you who haven't been in the market for a Speedy lately, but you want to get one, you need to know that there has been a price increase. The Speedies went up by $60. So this bag was $14.50 before. That's how much I paid for my Damier Aben. And they are now $15.10. So they went up to $1,510 which sucked, but it's okay. I wanted it and so I paid for it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted you to know that they did get a price increase. The Neverfulls also got a price increase. And uh, so I'm assuming that these probably got the price increase at the same time. I just wasn't in the market for one at that time. So I didn't check, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that they all got their price increase at about the same time. So, I'm trying to think of what else I can tell you about the bag. There's really not a whole lot to say. Um, if you are debating between getting the Bandelier and the Classic, I would say all day long, get the Bandelier version. Only because, I mean, I think the Classic's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the Classic. And I almost went with a Classic. But then I thought to myself, okay, I really need to have the versatility of having a strap if I need it. So um, I think that if you get the bandolier version, you're gonna get a lot more use out of your bag. You'll be able to use it regardless of what your setting is. Um, you know, a lot of people when they're going shopping or whatever, they won't use their bag, their Speedy, if they have the classic version because they know how inconvenient it can be. But if you have the strap, you can just put it on crossbody and you don't have to worry about it. And so, uh, and this, these bags hold so much stuff. Once I start using it, I will, um, I'll do a what's in my bag using this and then also a first impressions, wear and tear, all that kind of stuff. And I'll make sure I do wear and tear videos on regular intervals with this because I know you guys like to see how the bag patinas over time. So you'll know what to expect. And I know it helps you to decide if you want to get one of these bags. If you are opposed to bags that develop a patina, I don't recommend you ever get any of the patina, uh, the Vaquetta bags, because uh, they're going to patina. It doesn't matter if you treat them. It doesn't matter if you never get them out in the sun. It doesn't matter. Eventually with time, air itself makes them patina. Oxidation causes patina. So you're not going to prevent that process from happening. You might be able to slow it down, but you're not going to prevent it. And if you uh, care for your bags properly, they're not going to get that really dark, ugly, blackish kind of 
patina to them. That's not patina, that's dirt. So if you have really black handles, that's that's dirt. That can probably be cleaned off. So, um, but I happen to love when bags patina, especially on the monogram. Uh, I think patina on the monogram looks beautiful. I actually like the way the patina looks on it better than this really bright, stark, light color. Um, so, yeah. So, this is my bag. I'm going to also do a comparison between the Dame Eben and the monogram. So, if you are, you know, torn between which one to choose, then, you know, maybe that can help you, you know, make a decision. Anyway, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to post them down below. I want to apologize for my viewers who were waiting for me to do a what's in my bag with the graceful PM or a what fits. I didn't have time to do it. I had to return the bag immediately. So, um, so yeah, I didn't get to do that. And I'm so sorry. I was going to do a comparison video between the PM and the MM and I didn't get to do that either. So I'm so sorry. However, I will definitely get a comparison video done for the two speedies that I own. Uh, because like I said, I have the Damia Eben and now I have the monogram and uh, they are both in the size 30 and they're both bandelier. So if you get a classic version, just so, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have really bad allergies and my asthma is acting up horribly today because once again, true to Texas, our weather changed. So we went from having like 80 degree weather to like 50 degrees today. So now my asthma is acting up and I can't even cough or everybody looks at me like I have the coronavirus. So anyway, um, so I'll do a comparison. They're both the Don, the, I mean, they're both the Bandelier version and, uh, and I've done what's in my bag videos for my Dame event. I think that's actually my most viewed video that I have is my what's in my bag. So on that purse. So anyway, love this bag. Super excited to have it in my collection. And if you have any questions, please post them down below. Also, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe um, and help my YouTube family grow. If you put a comment down below, I will absolutely answer you. I do not let any of my comments uh, that are posted go, you know, without a response. I hate that. And so um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. Please hit the notification bell so you're notified anytime I do a video or upload one. Um, also, I do have a true unboxing coming up soon, probably within a week, uh, maybe two at the most. And yeah, so I have something coming in the mail. I'm super excited. I can't wait to get it. And so I'm going to unbox that on film with you guys. And yeah, I can't wait. I'm excited. Uh, thank you for sharing your time with me today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.